so maybe about a week ago i think it's been two weeks now a subscriber requested that i make a video about calling back energy Before I even start to talk about this, I just want to let you know that everything that I'm about to express to you in this video is strictly based upon either something I have researched or experienced myself. I'm not trying to make anyone think one way or another. I'm just sharing my experiences. That being said, I was first introduced to the idea of calling back your energy about a year or two ago. So when people observe you in real life, maybe you're communicating with them at work, or you're hanging out with them at school, whatever, when you're being observed. Somebody you don't even know walking past you in the street, being observed. When people are watching your social media, being observed. When people are thinking about you, being observed. Remember we talked about how all of us are connected on an energetic grid? Well, when someone is observing you or thinking about you, it's almost as if pieces of you get trapped in their idea of who you are. And so you have to refill your cup with yourself. I usually call my energy back to myself in the morning. When I lay there and I wake up, my bipolar mind wants to automatically go to worrying the problems from the day before, things of that nature. So I've had to consciously switch my thought process to acknowledging God and centering myself, blinking myself awake so that I'm not feeling like I'm halfway stuck in the dream realm, even the dream realm. You want to call your energy back from there. What I've come to learn in my research is that our energy is so extreme and so huge that it can't just fit in one body. So apparently that's where doppelgangers come from. Have you ever heard of that? There are people that look exactly the same and they live all in different places in the globe but they look exactly alike and they share characteristics like in their personality so i read that the reason we have doppelgangers is because our energy exists in different realms in different time periods and it's too big to just fit in one body when you call your energy back you're calling it back from the dream realm from alternate realities I, wow, you really spread yourself thin. No wonder we always wake up exhausted. I didn't even think about it like that. See, I was just thinking about the part where people were looking at your social media or thinking about you. And I've had random pangs of anxiety. And I've come to realize that that was from... But I had to be told. I didn't just realize it out of nowhere. But... I was told by older women that that is a spiritual attack. Shh. Just more simplified, it's people are thinking badly about you and you can feel it. And that's why I taught my children, don't like make fun of people when you, you know, you've watched a TV show and you cracking on somebody's hair, how bad their wig look or maybe a little gap or something or whatever. And I'm like, yo, don't talk about people even in your mind. And they're like, oh, they can't hear us. And I'm like, but they can feel you, though. You ever just get a pang of sadness from nowhere? You know? You're picking up on somebody else's energy. We just have to remember that we're all connected. It helps us have a little bit more accountability for the things that we do and think and say. Because it's affecting somebody somewhere. So, you just can't get away from it. Especially when I've read that our thoughts go directly to spirit's ear. And I'm like, yo, that made me want to clean up my mind. Because I was thinking some wild stuff, boy. I was like, I don't want God to hear that. You know what I'm saying? So back to first thing in the morning, after I've acknowledged that I'm not dreaming anymore, I've acknowledged God, I've acknowledged my ancestors, I give thanks. This is the space where I call my energy back before I do anything else. Because next come setting the intentions for the day. I call my energy back and... I think about all the places that it could have been. I think about the dream that I had the night before. I kind of step outside myself and I think about all the people in my life. And I think about them thinking about me and watching my social media, having memories of us in the past. And I call all of my energy back. All of my energy back. And I just, I feel empowered. Like, I want all the pieces of me back. Yeah. 
it kind of erases the idea that everyone has made up about you in their minds. There's so many different perspectives on who you are out there in the world. So I just feel like calling back your energy empowers you. Too often the people closest to us think they know us so much that they feel free to tell us who we are, or so they think. But we are all on a journey to learning who we truly are. So then we can find out what we're here for. You know? How do you know what moves you if you don't know who you are? That's like giving a gift to a complete stranger. Only you're the stranger. Also, if you're an artist, if you paint, if you make music, you wanna call your energy back because people are consuming you through your art. So that's another thing. I pull myself back from people's minds. I pull myself back from people's ideas. I pull myself back from other people dreaming about me. I can always tell when someone's had a dream about me when they start to act funny or they ghost me. It happens all the time. I remember when I was in rehab and a counselor that wasn't even my counselor, she came up to me and she was like, I had a dream about you last night and you told me that you didn't like my character. And she low-key never spoke to me again. This is what I'm talking about. You never know in what rooms your name is being spoken. And I don't like that too much. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who knows you, first of all. You don't know who knows you. And like I had to remind my daughter today, girl, social media ain't local. It's global. Global. You don't know who is watching you. Africa. Singapore. Canada. Georgia. Who knows who's watching you? Who knows who knows you? Who knows who's talking about you and what they're saying? Calling your energy back is like calling your power back. Calling yourself. All your little pieces of you. All these little pieces of energy. Because every time you create a post and post your picture or like make a comment on X or you have a conversation with somebody and you leave an impression in their mind to the point where they're thinking about you long after you've gone even so much so that they talk about you to other people or maybe they write about you in their journal because you never know the effect that you have on people so it's like you leaving little pieces of yourself around the world with all these people that are consuming you you need to call that one back, honey, because we only have but so much energy. I'm going to need all the pieces of me back. Give them to me. Give them. You know, energy needs to be reciprocated. I'll take getting my own energy back than you giving me some of yours, even though I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So it's putting all the little pieces of you back, and it's something you need to continuously do. It's very empowering. This is the spiritual work that we do to try to evolve past where we are. Because that's what I'm here for. I don't know what you're here for. I, I'm not here to just struggle and survive. I'm here to evolve myself. And so that's why I have this channel about healing and self-development. I do everything. I try to learn new information by reading just all types of people. I love, I, I, the authors that I have in my little library are just, they're all different and they all have good information. And I believe that you can get good information from all types of sources, whether it's a good person or a bad person, you still have an opportunity to learn something. So calling back your energy is not just something that you can do first thing in the morning. You can do it throughout the day. You can do it in the evening. Do it whenever you feel weak. Do it whenever you feel like somebody's been eating at you energetically. Because people are energy vampires, honey. Even if you go to an event and you're around a bunch of people, and when you walk away or you leave and you just feel totally drained, call your energy back in that moment. If somebody makes a negative remark about you or to you about you, not only do you rebuke it in that moment, whether you do it out loud or in your head, when you leave, call your energy back. You don't need to leave so many pieces of yourself with people. If you're a speaker and you do an event, anything like that, you're going to leave memories of yourself with these people. They can have it for a little while, but you're going to need to call that right on back. Okay. I really appreciate you reaching out and trusting me enough to speak on such an uh, important issue. If you ever have anything that you feel like I can help you with or something you would like to see from me, I have no problem making a video for something that you might be interested in if I have enough information that I feel like would be helpful. If you ask me to do a video about a topic I have no information about, honey, we're going to have to learn about it together. But calling your energy back is just one of many spiritual practices that we need to get into. I'm still slacking on the meditation stuff, but 
honestly this is my season of finishing up projects that's where i'm at first i was working on the processing emotions and that's going to be a continuous project and i already started it and it was i think i've gotten over the initial hump it was pretty rough when i first started learning how to process my emotions but now i'm about two or three weeks into it and i'm kind of used to it and i'm i'm in a different space now of being more creative and being more productive and being more disciplined so i'd like to get that going before this cold weather sets in so that's what i'm working on moving forward thank you so much for spending time with me here in fury world if you'd like to check out my music it's available on all music streaming platforms worldwide under my artist name the fury of abyss i love you and i'll catch you in the next episode peace